The photo albums go from there in chronological order all through our whole life. 104 albums, this is our life in photo albums. I'm Dr. Peggy Berenger. I was a family doctor for 40 years. And that's my darling husband, Jim. Jim was my husband. We were married for 57 years. These pictures were in 1964. That was the year that we got married. We had two children together, um, and he was the love of my life, truly. Unfortunately, he developed Alzheimer's disease and eventually died from Alzheimer's disease at the age of 74. And he died in 2020. The first thing that happened that was different was he started arguing with me and we had been very fortunate we had virtually never argued and it wasn't until a couple of months after that that he started losing his words and that's what made me realize that he probably had Alzheimer's disease. It was a nightmare. He was very well spoken. He had an amazing vocabulary. He'd been an English teacher and he liked writing sonnets. He wrote me at least three sonnets every year, Shakespearean sonnets. They were phenomenal. And to see him losing all of that and knowing there was no way I could stop it from happening was awful. There is no cure for Alzheimer's and it, it just goes one way, which is what I call downhill. The one thing you know is that tomorrow is going to be worse than today. When I hear stories like Jim's, that makes me think why we need institutions like Goldrich Neurohealth Institute in our area to be able to provide early diagnosis and also provide resources to help managing patients with chronic diseases like Alzheimer's disease. So patients like Jim and families, they don't feel left behind. The Goldrich Institute could have been very helpful to me if it was around at that time. That would have been terrific because they would have experts and lots of support. Having had somebody who had some expertise and could help in that way would have been really lots more helpful. You cannot do this by yourself. They have to understand that. That's so important. So this is Jim in our van on one of our trips. Whenever we got to a campsite, Jim opened a bottle of wine, and that's what he's doing in this picture. The Goldrich Neurohealth Institute will give us the opportunity to provide early detection for our patients so we can offer them cutting-edge treatment, and hopefully that will give patients and family members quality time to spend together. We just did everything together. Um, and I think very few people are lucky enough to have that kind of relationship with their partner. It was wonderful and it's so sadly missed.